Hi everybody! Hi! Hey. Um, we're gonna give you a few more tips this week. Um, yes. More tricks of the trade? Tips? Yes, more mm -hmm. tricks of the trade. I'm gonna start because I'm in the middle, so okay. it's my turn. <laughs> um, Prima came out with these new voila felt um, vine mm -hmm. called Divines, and I love Cute. them. And they come in brown and pink and blue and all these different colors. And um, I happen to have brown, but I want it to be green. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this off and I'm saving this and I'm going to take some green glitter and I'm using that backside that already has the adhesive on it and I'm just going to glitter the whole, you know what, I'm taking this top. Okay. <laughs> It'd be faster. There we go. Oh. It ends up. And it's like perfectly it's adhesive. It's perfectly even. It's even. There's like no blotches or anything like that. This where... just rocked my world because you know what? I have had the wrong color of felt embellishment, and I've painted it. <gasps> that, that, that's that's so way better. Pretty. Oh my gosh. I hope this shows on camera oh. how pretty it ends up. That's great. So there's that. And then my second tip okay. is to uh, use packaging. So this would be one. Don't throw I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Right. Why well, I'm not going to throw in, in fact, it might even be to put it right underneath it to oh. highlight it. That's good. Um, and then my <clears throat> Prima has come up with such cute packaging. Mm -hmm. pack that I save all of this stuff. This is the <clears throat> <laughs> this is the new uh, mini pebbles, and it has the most adorable paper strip in the back. Mm -hmm. And there's Book no mark. adhesive on it. I know it's adorable. In the front, I mean, all you have to do is put one little embellishment over this top, right? And it looks. Perfect, just like that. Yeah. Maybe cover the back or paint the back. Get a little barcode, but it's yeah. a bookmark. Yeah, and then this is the perfect size okay. for a photo mat. Oh yeah, oh, that this. is the perfect size for. A photo. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to knock it up yet. Put that down. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, how okay. cute! You can find a way to make it interactive. Maybe emboss it right here yeah. on the side and make it mm -hmm. because it's got this little thing right here. Just make it flip Love up. Love it. So very fun. Packaging tips. Love it. I love that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So for um, my pages, I love to use my computer for journaling. Um, but now that I hang out with these girls, I try to get more handwriting on my pages. But for many years, I like to print directly onto stickers mm -hmm. and onto, you know, die cuts or punches or tags. Right. But, you know, I always have to get that journaling just perfectly centered, you know, just right on the lines um, for, for labels like this. And I used to try, like, hang, you know, holding it up against the, um, <laughs> the window to get the lighting. But what I figured out is... Um, to do that, when I just grab my light box, right, light box, um, you know, print out whatever you want to say, and then take your sticker or die cut or whatever, and you just put it right over. You can see now that it's oh, nice. perfectly centered, okay, just like that, okay, right. and then run it right through the printer again, so now you've got your journaling right where that's you want so it to be. That's so cool. So uh, that's why I love my, my light box. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if you're doing like a, a punch out or a die or a tag, you just go ahead and put scotch tape right, you know, on the ends so that it doesn't get printed on, right? Then if you have trouble removing it off the paper, now this comes off really easily, uh, but if you have trouble removing the sticker or whatever you adhered onto that printout, just go ahead and use some undo. Do you guys have, ever use undo? All the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love undo. It's, it's one of my favorite products. For those of you who are unfamiliar with undo, it's an adhesive remover, right? Mm -hmm. So if you stick something down on the page, and you want to, you know, re, you know, move it somewhere else, and if you don't want to tear the paper, you can just go ahead and squirt some of that undo on it. And if you don't have undo, some some places don't sell. They don't carry it anymore. California yeah. outlawed it. Yeah, see, it's hard to get, you can't get it. So, um, what I, my husband and I were talking about, we were such nerds. <laughs> we were talking about undo one day. And we thought, okay, it had to be a low molecular weight hydrocarbon. For it to evaporate you know, rapidly. Low molecular weight. Hydrocarbon. Carbon. So we figured it had to be either N heptane or N hectane. In any case, forget all the chemistry. Uh, it's the same stuff that's solvent and rubber cement thinner. Basically, I mean, it may be a little bit different, but it's close enough. We've, I've been using this type of stuff for about a year now. Um, and you can, you can solvent and thinner is easier to remember than low molecular weight hydrocarbon. hydrocarbon. <laughs> <laughs> This one's my best line, and what I do is I keep it in, you know, like little drop bottles, okay? Right, or you can just go ahead and fill up your undo bottle. If you have an undo bottle, mm -hmm. you can fill it up. Just buy the best line solvent thinner. 
Um, or you can it, it, you can even keep some stuff like this, these little travel bottles. Oh, um, for like shampoo or yeah, hand lotion? Yeah, I, I like to keep my undo, and I put undo right here on the front so you know what it is, uh, in spray bottles because then you can just, you know, <laughs> spray it right on, you know, and on the back, on the back it, it, it's, you know, it uses Ooh. less. So um, undo, great product. That's um, my tip. <laughs> wow, that, yay, good tip. Thank okay. you. Okay, so mine doesn't seem that exciting now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Pulling up the rear. So um, a lot of times when I have a layout to do, I sometimes don't know where to start. And I think, um, or I go to crops and people ask me, what should I do with this picture? Mm -hmm. With this one, I started with the picture, and I tried to pull from the colors in the photo. I love it. But another thing I did was I saw that her shirt had these flourishes and, you know, the swirls on her shirt. So I brought that into the, into the layout. I picked this um, paper by Autumn Leaves that has the flourishes awesome. and the swirls yeah. and the blue, and then I backed it with the black and used black flower accents. Photo. So draw. So you're drawing the colors and some of the patterns from what you're seeing in your photo. That's great. Exactly. You know, I've been really into black too lately. Just black just and craft color. cardstock. I yes. just love it. craft. Love craft. Just love it. That's great. And then my other tip is um, when I get packaging, these are those really cute little making memory spreads. And they're the bunnies. They're little bunnies and butterflies and buttons. And they're so tiny. I love tiny. I love tiny things. Love tiny. So what you do is after you get this packaging, right. don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. So, oh, I love her frugal I, tips. So <laughs> I love the frugal tips. Okay. okay. So you're saving the packaging? You're saving the packaging. And I won't rip all of this off. But you know, usually when you open this type of packaging, you can't you reclose can't close it. Yeah. So right. you would empty this it. out, and then you can use this as a paint <gasps> dish. Like say you, this is a little too dark and you want to add a little white or right. you want to mix the paint. This is what I use for my palette. And then I can paint with it, you know, and I can just throw it away when I'm done. That's so you can mix. Mix or, you know, anytime you're using like paint or like yeah. liquid laminate or something like that. Yeah. You know, that's a great idea for, um, for, for teaching classes because you can cut it up, right? You can give right. Each and one then gets a at little, the end of the class, you, you can just toss, toss, toss it out. Because there's or six take of it these. To a crop. Taking, yeah. you're taking it, going to a crop, bring yeah, it out You don't want to have to clean up. You don't want to wash it, yeah. Occasionally, I'm somewhere that, you know, I don't have a, a sink and, you right. know, paper towels and all that kind of stuff. And then sometimes I get the really cheap little craft brushes. Mm -hmm. and you can get like 12 or 24 for a dollar. And they're kids' brushes. And you could also just toss that if you have that's right. to. That's so, right. so that's my little tip. Great tip. Very fun. Anything else? Oh, a reminder about the Girlfriends Retreat in June. That's right. French Valley. Still taking sign-ups. What, what, when is it in June? 26th, 27th, 28th. So it's two nights and two days, mm -hmm. three classes, two, two stay, and, stay plays. and plays, lots of games, prizes, tons, tons of products. The goodie bag is amazing. The yeah. goodie bag is really amazing. And the yes. classes are going to be amazing too. We'll show pictures of those soon. Yes. Okay. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Top secret. <laughs> yeah. Well, this video shall distract you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, that's okay. It. Okay. Bye. 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 Pages. But um so what I do oops, excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I just wanna be okay. Sure. Be okay. You said for many years you used your computer. I did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, well how much? I can't believe we're